Here we are at our first backing track and we're going to use this track to do some basic exercises to help our picking. Now, in the tremolo picking section, basically we took one note or a series of notes and we played as fast as we could. Now that's all very well once you can do the technique, but if you want to be able to start from a simpler point, this track and these exercises are really going to help you out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of uh, picking um, speeds and they're going to adhere to certain tempo values uh, within musical notation. Now, that sounds like a lot of gobbledygook, so what I'll try and do is explain it uh, in, a, in a more simple fashion. So when the, the track kicks in, which is going to be 120, okay, 120 beats per minute, the first thing we're going to do is play what's called crotchets or quarter notes. Now this is four notes to a bar. Okay, and what I'm going to do is very, very slow and very, very simple, but you're going to see how this builds up as we go through the track each time. So I'm going to play four bars of four notes to a bar. So it's going to be as simple as this. The track will kick in and I will go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Simple as that. That's how it's going to work. Now, that's going to sound, maybe you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit boring, but when we get to the end of the exercise, you're going to see that you've got a really cool exercise that gets pretty fast and also gives you a breather when you start over. So, let's stop the yakking, get on with the smacking, and hear what it sounds like. Okay, very simple, crotchets or quarter notes, depending on what you want to call them, four to a bar, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is something called crotchet triplets. Okay, now crotchet triplets are six to a bar, and it's much easier if you just hear me play these rather than trying to sing you some daft sounding song. Um, once you hear it, you'll know what I mean. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hear four bars with six notes to a bar. Okay, so what you heard me do there was six notes to a bar over a period of four bars. So, first time round, we did crotchets or quarter notes, okay, which was four to a bar for four bars. Now we have crotchet triplets or quarter note triplets, okay, and so we have six to a bar for four bars. So hopefully the pattern that you're noticing is it's getting slightly faster, okay, as we go along. What we've done is we've played if you think about it, uh, 16 notes over a period of four bars, okay? And now we're playing 24 notes over a period of four bars, and we're just adding two notes per bar in time, which is gonna make it slightly faster. Okay, so this next exercise we're gonna do is called quavers or eighth notes, okay? So now we're gonna have eight notes to a bar for four bars. Okay, so what you heard me do there was quavers or eighth notes, eight notes to a bar. So we've added two notes again. Remember, four, six, eight. Okay, so what we're going to do now is quaver triplets. Okay, now that's going to be 12 notes to the bar. And when you hear it, you'll have heard this sound many times before. Okay, so this is going to be four bars, quaver triplets or eighth note triplets as they're known. And that's going to sound like this. Okay, so we've gone to 12 notes to a bar now. So we've added four. Okay, so we're getting slightly faster each time. Now this time we're going to do a thing called semi-quavers, or 16th notes which is 16 notes to a bar 
for four bars, and that's going to sound like this. Okay, so what you heard me do there was play semiquavers or 16th notes, 16 to one bar for four bars. Now, the next one we're gonna do is about as fast as we can go at this tempo, and this is going to be semiquaver triplets, okay? Which is um, 24 notes to the bar for four bars. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so you heard me playing semi-quaver, triplets there, 24 to a bar, pretty fast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play the whole exercise, which is gonna be four bars of crotchets, or quarter notes, four bars of crotchet triplets, okay? And then I'm gonna play four bars of eighth notes, or quavers, and then I'm gonna play four bars of eighth note triplets, okay? Then four bars of semi-quavers, then four bars of semi-quaver triplets. And then basically, depending on how good your picking is, you might find that when you get to the semi-quaver triplets or even the semi-quavers, it starts to get difficult for you, okay? Now, if that's the case, just take the exercise up as far as you can go. If you can only take it to quavers or quaver triplets, take it that far, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the whole exercise round for you twice, so you can hear the progression from the, the, from the slower uh, crotchet or quarter note right up to the semi-quaver triplets. Okay, now it's a great exercise from going slow to fast. Don't worry if at the end of it it's a bit messy, just try and get as far as you can and keep the accuracy as much as you can and if the accuracy, do the accuracy does slip as you come to the faster passages then just remember to get the accuracy back when you come back to the simpler parts and just go as fast as you can go. Also, you don't have to do four bars on this exercise, okay? What you can do is one bar each or two bars each you can kind of mix it up and make it as interesting as you like. But what I do want to put across to you is that if you're going to be a good picker, you've got to have stamina and being relaxed is important. You, you need to be able to be able to play at that fastest tempo for a long time. And I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of how long I can hold that tempo without it bothering me in the slightest. And that's what you've really got to be able to do. Okay, you've got to be able to hold those tempos for long, long periods of time because that is what, it, you know, when you come to simpler passages, it's going to make them, you know, really, really easy. Because the thing to bear in mind when you play the guitar, if you are inhibited by technique or harmony or scale positions, 
basically the guitar is playing you you're not playing it you need to be in a position where you have a command of your harmony and a command of your technique so you can play what you want to play not oh I can't pick this way or I don't know this scale or I don't know where to move because basically the guitar is just playing you and you don't want to be in a position so let's do this and I'll just show you the kind of stamina you need to pick well just on the tremolo Okay, so hopefully nice and smooth, stamina, nice and relaxed, just kept it going, and I could have kept it going a lot more than that. And it's not because I'm some super talented you know, person that knows something different to you do, it's simply because I put tracks on like that and I just do that for the whole five minutes, maybe do it twice, maybe do it three times. It really is just like fitness or going on a treadmill, you know, you just build it up over time. Okay, so if you do these exercises, you will end up with the same technique. It's nothing that I or anyone else at Lick Library or anywhere has got that you can't have.